playing SpongeBob. Hey again, it's me. Anyways, guys, I hope all of you are feeling fantastic today. And um, actually, ever since the popularity of the last video, um, I've decided I'm going to make another one just for you guys today. Also, before we begin, I'd like to make sure that you guys should like and subscribe, hit that bell icon. Uh, it really helps me out a ton in making more videos for you guys. I'm really trying my hardest, so yeah, thanks a lot. Anyways, let's move on to the actual games. Okay, let me just say guys, Dingus is a godsend of a game. I know you're probably confused on like why, but like the graphics, the overall style, the animations, it's just so smooth to the point that I like it. Now, sure, Dingus isn't really a hide and seek game. It's more of a stealth game, but I'll still count it in just because it's very fun. Now, I, d I have played this game before tons of times, and I must say, they put their hearts into making this game. It's just such a chef's kiss. They took their time into making this, and they came out with one of the most wow games I have ever seen. So basically, how the gameplay of Dingus works is you, uh, you pretend to be an NPC while doing tasks. So it's sort of like you spawn in, you do your tasks. The more you do tasks, uh, the more the hiders win. But then there's hunters that hunt you down. If the hunters shoot you, you're out. But if you manage to, you know, finish every single task before the hunters get you, hiders win. But as you can see there, there's also a timer. So if the timer runs out, the hiders win. But if the hunters manage to kill everyone, the hunters win. Have I mentioned they also have game modes? Now, surprisingly, I'm not sure what type of game modes they have. I'm only aware of two game modes. I played them before. One of them being um, Deposit, the one that's uh, playing right now in the background. And the other one being um, Classic, I think. I'm not really sure, guys. Uh, I'm not really too aware of the new game modes they added. I'm only aware of the new map they added, which is cool. But yeah, that's all I'm really aware of for the new update that they added. Make sure you guys check out Dingus because it's one of the most coolest games on roblox anyways uh i don't really know what else i can say about it so guys just make sure to you know support the creators but yeah let's move on to the rating So, hide and seek, extreme. What's so extreme about it? I have no clue. But uh, this game is very nostalgic to me. It, it, it has a special place in my heart, you know. Because like, back then, I used to play this game 24-7 each time I come back from school. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun game. It's your average hide and seek game, really. It's, you know, it's one of the most memorable games on Roblox. But that's the problem with it. It's an old game. It's been, it's like, it's been made like during 2017, I think. I'm not sure. Guys, I didn't do my research on this yet. Yeah, how can you call me a reviewer if I don't research? 
but whatever um this game has a special place in my heart which is why i'm a little bit biased on it but yeah hide and seek extreme is your average hide and seek game where there's a seeker and you have to hide that's literally the quickest explanation of it there's no other game modes uh it's just new like different maps that's all really it's actually more plain and simple than dingus itself but uh yeah let's just move on to the rating Okay, so if you guys were to ask me what game I wasn't expecting to have an update, it would literally be this game. Blox Hunt is your average prop hunt game, probably one of the most popular ones for, you know, being how classic it was. Like, this was made, again, during, like, mid-2017, I'm not really sure. But yeah, this game was my childhood. Every day, I'd play this this was my actual childhood this is what i would play every single day two times a week like this is one of my most favorite games on roblox when i was a kid but yeah blocks on is your really average prop on game nothing else but uh after the new update they really changed a lot uh they added new maps they updated the lobby a lot that's one um they changed uh some stuff with players you know like they basically re-scripted and reimagined the whole game and i uh, i love them for doing it i'm glad they took their time and you know effort to bring back one of the most classic games on roblox one of the most best classic games on roblox repackaged it give it gave it back to us players it's just like i i, I just want to say thank you to them for you know taking their time to you know redo this whole entire game but yeah uh is there really anything else i can say it's just you know i'm glad they updated it that's really all but yeah um i guess i'll just explain how the rules work so as the hider you basically become props hide in maps that's really all while hunters they zap you uh, yeah like as you see as you saw right there uh hiders can also taunt to you know like distract but yeah that's really all for a blocks hunt anyways let's move on to the rating anyways y'all that's all for today really um uh this was one of like a really boring video yeah i know but i'm trying my hardest guys but yeah those were the hide and seek games that i found most interesting um uh, make sure to check them out guys make sure to support the creators so yeah that's all for today guys i'll see you guys whenever that will be